They were playing Villager Mega Man. Where did the name came from? I'm not quite sure. Lemon oh! Tree. The villager has the tree. Mega Man shoots the lemons. The lemons! Oh! That's genius. Oh! Oh my god, that's clever. There are so many good teams in this state. My favorite one, my favorite one, Attendance Policy. Because uh, it was made up of Paul and Dino and Paul, so attendance policy. Oh. Paul is Dino's teacher in one of his classes. Really? Yeah. So here we are, getting into the game. I feel like this is going to be very... Uh, I feel like this matchup is going to consist a lot of Moses trying to... Moses, I see the tag. Uh, heck? Oh. <laughs> Clicking on the doubles over, sorry. Uh... <laughs> Oh, okay. I feel like this is gonna. Do, I feel like these are gonna be some long games here. I will say of the villagers that I have played against, I'd say this is a more aggressive type. Would you? Would you agree? Uh oh. Oh. He was too aggressive. <laughs> just a little bit. You know, fast falling too far, just taking and taking the out for it. We got Dr. Phil over here handing him that L. Really good usage of Slingshot right now. Seriously, he's covered in a lot of area with that. Yeah, Moser, Moser, as we saw in the doubles, very good at keeping people out. Now the Lloyd Rocket covering his recovery. Well, Vildra has one of the best recoveries, uh, dis sheer distance wise. Right. Dino's really trying to look for an opening right now, but he, but Moses Moser is just not giving him that. Oh, he's covering he for that read. He's covering all the options right now. That was so smart. I'm tossing those bowling balls. Yeah. A little shook thinking back to my last tournament when I got bowling ball. Ooh, the reflector on the Lloyd. Looked like a shine, but yeah. I like the runoff back here that covers his uh, recovery. He's got a lot to make up, but honestly, I feel like I've said this a lot tonight, but you know, he's playing Wolf, so Wolf's, Wolf's pretty good at taking those kills. I think Wolf, if he could pull it back here. He just needs one good, like, he just needs one good hit. Oh, and that's easier said than done. <laughs> what, especially against Village the Village is amazing recovery. Again, covering a lot of space. Village is really good at that. Oh, almost seeing that F smash. That bowling ball off ledge is amazing. Not quite gonna take it. It's so hard to give Villager like that just because that recovery is so good. Yeah. I feel like one thing, I should probably focus on ledge tracking a little bit more than more edge slingshots, guarding. More slingshots. There we go. The dash attack gonna take it. Moses got that tech, although... almost 120% extra credit though. It's going to be a steep hill for Dino to climb. <coughs> Ouch. Oh, there's the tree. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about that tree sitting over on the ledge. I'm waiting for him to pull that crap up. Oh, no. Nah. What a shame. Now, Moses is doing a great job of keeping, keeping Dino out. I can tell this is really frustrating for Dino, mm -hmm. just because... Village is a tough matchup. It, it really is, and uh, it's just... you got to be very smart when you play against uh, you have to be, yeah, It's a test of patience. Well, Village is very good at calling out a lot of jumps, which is a problem I know I have. Exactly. Or I jump too I much, mean, so. it's... Co like, Village is covering space at Lloyd Rocket, and then if you jump, he just slingshots you. Like, what else can you do, right? Oh, yeah. Those Lloyd Rockets also to stall the recovery to make it a little bit more, a little bit less predictable from coming back. Yeah. While also providing a hitbox. Right, right. Moser's been at the ledge for a while here, but honestly, I don't think he's too concerned with it. Because, you know, he's just he's just hopping around, Does shooting a slingshot. Yeah. yeah. No, he's, he's covering that ledge. Even though he's uh, on ledge, he's covering that. And that back air. Oh. Those wolf flashes. Ah, the reflector. <clears throat> I think Moser just needs one good heavy hit. I know Villager don't have too many of those, but... Ah, there's that up there. Gonna take game one for Moser. No, I don't think we're gonna see a... Uh, I don't think we're gonna see any character swaps from either of them, because I know... I don't know if Moser playing any other characters, and I certainly... I think... <sighs> I don't have any other... 
I feel like I've talked to him about his characters. I feel like I should know. And he's definitely most confident in his wolf. So that's where he's probably gonna stick. Yep. Just like that, going right into game two. <laughs> so we go hopping right into game two on Battlefield. So from the last game, uh, what do we learn? We know that Villager is just really good at calling out his movement. Uh, so Wolf just has to be a bit more grounded. I think. I think uh, being in the air it makes it is really dangerous for Wolf. Yeah, I think he. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. I think he's uh, I think he's got to be a lot smarter with his movement in this game because uh, Villager capitalizes very hard on this. And we, as we see, Moser, a very solid player, keeping him. Oh, Ouch. see, as I said earlier, that uh, Wolf Flash. Oh, well, that's. Well, that Wolf Flash will. Well, that Wolf Flash will spike. It has no priority, and any attack is just gonna knock him out. Right. So that F smash there. Right. The, like like that. <laughs> like, just like that. Just like that. Oh, the parry into nothing. Again, Dino's controlling center stage, but I don't think Moser's too concerned with that. I think Moser's just content, hanging out on the edges, shooting his little slingshot, racking up the damage. Moser's really slowly but surely racking up a lot of extra credit. You know, he's in no rush. He needs to, he's, he's only at 50. He's not taking... Dino's being uh, just a tiny bit impatient. He, he keeps trying to go in, but he keeps being walled out. Mm -hmm. It's a tough game to play. Moser, Moser's... Oh. It's very tough, because he's just going to balloon again. Oh. Mm. Villager really just can't put him out here. He's doing just what he needs to win this match. He knows exactly what Dino's going to be doing. Calling out every single option. It's like you should have gone for a safer option there. Man, Moser's really good about getting back to stage with those low eights. He's covering all of the angles that Dino could take to possibly punish him. Is Reflector like a bad option? In I this think matchup? Reflector is a good option. I don't know if it works against Fair. It might. Oh, oh, this is a nice tough, and solid up smash. This is a tough hill to climb at this point. Yeah, I think. I think Moser has definitely figured out Dino's game plan here and is taking it, taking it and running with this lead. It just, the Wolf is such an in-your-face character, but he keeps giving him the space to put out his rip projectiles, all his all Well, his I think he's rockets. trying to get into his face, but Villager is a character that's very good at keeping characters who want to get in your face out. So I think, um, I think Dino's trying with all his might to get in, but Moser's just, Moser's just keeping him back, playing the game at his own pace. Right. Commanding the game, which is honestly just what he needs to do in this matchup. Because Wolf is a scary character, and Villager, you don't see him too often. He's very underrepresented. Oh, oh no! no! F Smash gonna take it like that. That hurts. That hurts. Convincing 2-0 for Moser there. He got pushed off 